Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make this stringed rib shawl. I made it with uh, two balls of shawl in a ball. I didn't use uh, all of it. So you can even make some fringing in the end if you like. I'm going to show you how to make an extended half double crochet. Which looks like this. So let's get out our hook and yarn. You need a five millimeter hook and your shawl in a ball yarn or any yarn suitable for a five millimeter crochet hook. We're going to start by making a magic circle. I like to use two fingers, go around, making a cross and back. You got two loops, we're going under the first, over the second, pulling it back, turn your crochet hook and remove your fingers. This is what you'll have, what it looks like. The working strand can go into your fingers and then we're going to make a slip stitch. And there you have your magic circle. We're going to start by chaining three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to make three extended half double crochets into the magic circle. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. The final one, yarn over, insert your hook, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull it through one loop, yarn over and pull it through all three loops. Now we can close our magic circle. There we go. On to the next row. We're going to start by chaining three. One, two, three. Turn your work. We're going to make an extended half double crochet into the first stitch, one into the next, and then two in the last stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through all three loops. On to the next, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through all three loops. The final stitch we're going to make two extended double crochet, half double crochets. So yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch, putting up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three loops, onto the second one, into the same stitch, the final extended half double crochet. There we go. On to the next row. Start by chaining three. The chain three doesn't count as a stitch until we reach the back and front post rows. We're going to increase in one side, on one side, I'm sorry. So yarn over, make two extended half double crochets into the first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we're going to make three more, on to the next stitch.
and the final one there we go so each row will have one more stitch so this one has three stitches not counting the uh, chain three this one has four and here are five stitches so on to the next chain three turn your work we're going to make an extended half double crochet into the first stitch and one into the next oh. I need three loops and there we go on to the next another extended half double crochet and in the final stitch two extended half double crochets That's one, and two. So we've got our first four rows. Now we're going to make a back post extended double crochet row. Oh no, we're not, we're going to Keep repeating rows until we get far enough. I'm sorry. So chain three. Keep increasing on this side, making two extended half double crochets. It's one and two. On to the next now we can make one extended half double crochet in each stitch till we reach the end of the row and the final one We're going to repeat this till we uh, have 14 rows and then we'll go on to the back post extended double crochet. So chain three, turn your work, extend it, half double crochet into the first stitch. Then we can do one stitch in each so we reach the final one, which is our increase side. Almost there. And our final stitch. And there we go. We're going to make two extended half double crochets. And this is what it looks like. So we're going to keep on increasing only on one side. 
And this is how you make an extended half double crochet.